we just won for a bunch of senior citizens a verdict where they lived in a beautiful park that was destroyed by a greedy landlord and destroyed their living community. This management company has a business model where they pay their employees a bonus if they can keep the budget less than last year's budget. So it got to the point where they just put no maintenance into anything. They were down to about $200,000 maintenance they put into a park that they were taking over $4 million a year revenue in. So it was just ridiculous at the end. This case was a dogfight from the beginning. The first thing they did, the court looked at 69 plaintiffs and said, you gotta go to arbitration, I don't have time for you. There it is. We had to go up to the Court of Appeals, the Court of Appeals reversed that, so that took years. This was a big company, that had a lot of money, and they had six lawyers sitting at the table at one time. And I remember in closing argument looking over to them and saying, you know, if they would have just put the money into this park that they're putting into this defense, we wouldn't be here today. This message rocked the state and the country. This is the largest REIT that publicly traded. When this verdict came out, lawyers around the state were all watching it because they knew this was a big fight to the death. When it came out, lawyers around the state, they started holding seminars as how not to get sued. We have a lot of cases like that where we're trying to, to change things for the better. I mean, I don't know how much longer we're gonna be able to practice. Um, I'm 61, I'm not gonna practice at 80. We wanna leave this place better than we found it. And so we're trying to take as many of those type of cases as possible.